welcome to today. Today is Thursday and we have one more day until Crazy Town starts. Crazy Town is going to be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on Monday I do not know what's going to happen. Today is my birthday. Yeah, and that is happening too. Um, so today is going to be all about... I don't even want to say it because I don't want you guys to get excited because there's a lot of things that have to happen for this to go right. But, Gabby, do you want to tell them what's happening? What is it? What did Fiona message me about yesterday? Oh, a horse. So what happened? We found a horse. We oh, found Fiona. A... Yeah. So, it so, so cute. you guys should know that Fiona doesn't send us an ad for a horse ever. Like, never. This is how, you know, how people go out shopping. You go searching for horses and you see and try a bunch. Well, we don't try any horses because... She doesn't waste her time on horses that are not going to be a good fit. And you can pretty much tell from videos, like she knows us, she knows what we need. And she sent us an ad yesterday, she, not an ad, she sent us a horse yesterday. She's like, Laura, I think we should try it. And literally my heart dropped to my stomach and I'm like, fine, whatever. Like I'm pretty sure this is not going to be our horse because I always know, I always know. <laughs> Like Finn was a complete surprise to me. That's how come I didn't wasn't expecting Finn because God never showed me him. There were no signs. I lived my entire life by listening to the signs. If I haven't dreamed about it or seen it or if I don't have the feeling, if like I am a believer in God, I let God guide every decision I make. Finn was such a hard thing because I didn't see any signs. I had to I had to do it on my own with Finn. So this is our fireplace, y'all. This is our little fireplace, y'all. It it uh it turns off. So you know and how turns on. You know how kids go to school and they like take on personalities of friends and stuff. Well, Gabby takes on like YouTube and uh, and social media personalities. Like, the other day I caught her. Today saying... Today's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. The other day I caught you saying what? What were you saying? Not your bucket. No, no, no. The storm was about to step in his bucket. And Mom's no. like, not your what? Oh, yeah, I thought she said something else. But anyways, no, no, no. What was the thing that you said when we were at Horde Station? That was like another country term. Loads. She said something about... Well, they have loads. There are loads of something. And I'm like, when did you start saying loads? And she's like, right now. <laughs> Today. Anyway, so um, let's talk about what happened. So she, Fiona sent me... A message and she said I found a horse I think we should try it and then I'm like well send me a picture because I will know I knew I knew already because God has not shown me another horse right now and I know I knew that this is not like I immediately felt like this is not gonna be the horse for us and then she sent me a picture of him Gabby the light is not working for me here over by the fire oh and I can't even warm. see the fire I know it is warm but I'd rather have good light it's fine I'll cover the fire. okay all right so so, so she sent me a picture of him, and the first picture was just of his, of his body, and I was like, ooh, I don't know, I kind of got a little bit of a feeling about this horse, and then I looked at the next picture, and it was of his face, and then all of a sudden, all the signs just started clicking into place. Like, Gabby's been getting signs? It's been Gabby that's been getting signs. Hasn't it been you? I don't know. Like, Gabby's been getting all these crazy signs. All these crazy signs that we thought were leading us in one direction. And now, after seeing the horse's picture, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it really feels like God has been pushing us, giving Gabby these signs to push us in this direction. I mean, I don't know. It's preliminary days still. But it's early days. So I don't know what will happen. But anyway, as soon as I saw the picture things started to really fall into place and so yeah we're gonna we're gonna probably go and see a horse do you want to go see him oh i said that yeah, yeah she yeah. so and, and another miracle that happened is that gabby i already told you guys gabby doesn't like to entertain the possibility of another horse it would have to be something that god worked into her that mind i want yeah so anyways up till now she said I will get Lily and that's it there's no other horse for me but Lily and then suddenly we looked at this horse we saw just this picture and we're like yes like that's the one not because he's beautiful not like we haven't even seen him in real life we haven't even seen like seriously a, a close-up picture of him it's just because 10 don't. days till my birthday <laughs> yeah. that's why you guys today is all about 10 days 10 days hashtag this video 10 days um, but yeah, like, we're gonna go see lots of signs, lots of 
Ruby Kissing. kisses. Yeah, for lots of Ruby kisses. Even Ruby's like, get it! I need another horse to chase! Anyway, if we do get another horse, um, we have a plan. We have a bunch of plans for how we would manage it, where it would live, where it would stay. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let everything play out the way that it's oh meant my God, to my back play is out. Burning. It's so hot here. Holy cow! Oh, I can turn that off. Okay, so now so we're just gonna see the pretty part. Okay, no heat coming out. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys today is all about Gabby's maybe new horse. I don't know when we're gonna see it. We're busy this weekend, but yeah, Gabby's already bothering me. Let's go see him, right? So anyway, but guys, we will keep you guys updated. My birthday. We will keep you guys updated. No need to message me five million times and say when are we gonna get to see the horse? When are we gonna get to see the horse? Is Gabby getting the horse? Is that, Gabby getting the horse? That means don't do that. <laughs> yeah, like I understand if you have to do it and you can't control yourself, but but don't I do it. promise, I promise to update you as things progress, right? Mm -hmm. Um, one thing you guys should know is that Fiona said that unless he has the the are the big thing we're looking at the two big things we're looking at are his athletic ability and if he has the ability to go where she wants to go and also it has to be her forever horse because there will be no other horses ever for the rest of our life ever she's getting a knee wash at the moment like thank goodness that you know she has jeans with a rip in them so that the dog can clean her knee Right, Ruby? No, I was petting her and she was licking me. All right, let's go. We gotta go down and feed our horse. One of my favorite things on our horse farm is this beautiful face and nose looking at me every single morning. Hello, Willow. You seem like you're growing taller. Doesn't she seem like she's growing taller? What? Yesterday we had to go shopping, so when we came down to do chores, I'm like, this is fast day chores. And uh, we got chores done within an hour, like so fast, everything, all done. And we managed yesterday for the first time to really uh, figure out a good plan. So uh, That's yes, how you feed them. I do that. We chase them night. around, no, make no, her no. get work I off run her. And they run after, and then we'll get fed there and Grace gets fed there. That's where they always get fed. Unless I feed them, and then I feed them right closer to the and door. And we'll get fed here and Grace gets here, yeah. Kicks Gracie and Gracie dies. Yeah, that's that's what happens when mom feeds. That's why I took over. Gracie dies. Anyway, um, let's do it again today. So this is what we do. Girls do all three stalls, and I do the other stuff. I like do the arena. I get the hay ready. I get yeah, Stella's hay ready. We're smart. Or I do all the extra stuff that has to get done after we do stalls. It just works out a lot better. All right, let's do it.
these leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at all these gorgeous chickens. Whoa. Back it up, sisters. Back it up. Uh-oh. What am I going to do? Look at these chickens. She's getting chubbier. Yeah, she's getting chubbier. She's getting super gorgeous. All right, you guys. We have done very well by our chickens. She is. Do you guys remember what bad shape she was in? Feel her. She's, she's getting better. Oh, yay. Wow. And her feet might be getting better. Yeah, her feet. She's old. I like. I've treated her for bugs and I've treated her for worms and so she's funny. just an I'm old girl. Guy, oh yeah, he is gorgeous. <laughs> you know those videos where roosters scare people off? Yeah, our rooster's a wuss. He's not a scary rooster. Oh, you'll be looking cute. Yes, you are. Look at how big he is. I know. I've contemplated the thought of like, what if we rehomed if our we roosters? Good, what if we sold our if chickens? What if we, yeah, because he's a young boy. What if we sold our chickens for the winter and then got new ones in the spring? No, I can't, because no. Because chickens are so friendly. Yeah, we would never. We'll just have to figure out a way to keep you guys nice and warm and new learning curve for us. We've never kept chickens in the winter. Look, he's starting to molt, it looks like. Oh, calm down. He's gorgeous. And you guys notice that this sweet girl is really integrating herself into the flock. Are you laying on an egg? Did you lay an egg? You guys be looking so gorgeous. Look at that hen. Look at you. You're so big and gorgeous. Yeah. Oh dear. All the change is happening, huh? Because it's just her egg, she just laid this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Something that you've never experienced life until you've held a freshly laid egg. So, um, you know the, um... I, I wish we knew who laid... You know the egg The doubles. That, um, we should set a camera in here and watch. Oh my gosh, you want to do it? Because we have one. And they're always in the car back for me. Um, so mom... So you know the egg carton that has the double mm -hmm. yogurt in it? Mm -hmm. Um, there's an egg in there that was not cracked before and now it's cracked. Mm, that's so weird. It might be hatching. You think it's hatching in the fridge? Probably not. Yeah. yeah. So the one thing that eggs yeah. need, there's only one major ingredient that eggs She's need. the mean one. Listen, what do eggs need to hatch to Four. into a baby? They need two things. They need and a rooster. They need to be Fertilized. Right, from a rooster, but yeah, warm. Warm is the big thing. They have to be warm. Ruby, what are you thinking about the chickens? Oh, if she could go in here, she'd kill them all. Oh, she'd kill them all, I'm sure of it. Or at least chase them and play with them. Whoa! Little Izzy just fought with one of the chickens in one. Eat out of your hands. I love her. I love you. Uh, one of our subscribers told me that she got to hold a silky for the first time the other day. So how exciting. Like just looking at her little face makes me so happy. She's getting Sophie's room cleaned up. I was setting up her Schleich stuff in case she gets some Schleich stuff for her birthday. That could happen. I don't know for sure yet, but hopefully that will happen. Anyway, I was setting up her Schleich stuff and I just happened to look over at these horses that were sitting in her room. And I was thinking like, this is literally what we have in our field. We have a Palomino and then a really dark horse that looks like black in the winter. And I always talk about signs and I always talk about how God lets you know things and this is something that I would consider a sign. Obviously anybody could have these horses and not have a Palomino and a dark horse in their field. But I shared this with you guys before and I wanted to share it with you guys again. But this is how I get what I want. I think about what I want. I think about like, gee, I would really like to have a Palomino horse. I did not ever say that, but um, God surprised me with that one. But, so I would think it and then I would dream it. I would imagine it. I would close my eyes, pretend that it's happening, pretend a life where I would have my Palomino horse and I would be riding my horse and I would Think it and imagine it till it felt real in my heart. So I would think it and then I would dream it. And then once I dreamed it, I would believe it. I would just believe wholeheartedly with all my heart that it was going to come true. So I would think it and dream it and believe it. 
and then I would totally let it go. I would let it go and give it up to God and if it's meant to come to me, it will. And 99.9% .9 of the things that I've ever wanted in my life have always come to me by doing that method. And it might seem far-fetched to, um, to think that I get so many things that are really important to me, but it really does happen. It actually really does work. Think it, believe it. Think it, dream it, believe it, and then let it go to God. And it might not happen right away. It might not happen next month or next year, but eventually you're able to draw amazing things into your life. So I want you guys to try it. Think of something that you love and that you want. And um, think it, dream it, believe it, and let it go. All right, we are headed out. If any of you guys are wondering, like, how expensive could horses actually be? Well, I'm going to take you along with us on our weekend shopping. This is our end of the week shopping that we do almost before every single show. week nope it's something that we do almost every single week it's before the show too but i'm going to show you how much it costs weekly to have horses first stop two bags of grain 86 dollars 340 dollars that i had to take out of the bank to pay for the farrier um it might cost more because Stella's getting pads on her feet and I have some money in my wallet already so that should handle that. So $15.50 for some chicken food and $20 for three bags of shavings. Um, I could only fit three bags of shavings in my car otherwise I would have bought six bags or five bags like I usually can fit in my car but with all the other stuff I couldn't fit it so yeah. That is the usual stuff that I do weekly except for the farrier, but there's always some expense. Tonight I also need to get a thing of quiescence, which is Stella's supplement. It costs $150, but it lasts me two months. It's the best deal. Um, so Sam's gonna go and pick that up for me on his way home. So how much is that that I spent today? Just, just because it's, I needed the stuff. Um, this is the stuff I need regularly. So 150. 60, 70, 170, 270, 80, almost 300, about $300. This is just a regular day on the horse farm. some of you guys some of you guys have said that we should change it up but I love them so much each one holds a full bag of grain each one has a lid does up tight they sit nicely underneath our um, little table here and I like it I saved the bags for garbage I use about two a week. I brought some chairs from the trailer, some beach chairs so that I could set them up in here. So I could set them up here for Sunday when all my family's here. It's always better when you have some place that you can sit down and watch what's going on. My goal, woo, good job. My, my goal this year is to try and trick, I mean, convince my oldest son, Mark, to go riding on a horse. The last time he went riding on a horse, he was four years old and had a massive allergic reaction, but um, he also had a virus at the time. His system was compromised. I don't know 
if he actually was allergic. He hasn't seemed to be allergic to any animals now, but he was when he was younger, so he's not into the horse thing. But if I can convince him to ride a horse and like it, then there's a better chance that his daughter is going to be able to take lessons. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.